Hello students, let us begin with the second session. In this session, we will be discussing 10 problems in the physics section of AEEE 2012 paper. Now let us look at the first problem. A liquid in a beaker has a temperature theta at time t and theta naught is temperature of the surrounding. Then according to Newton's law of cooling, the correct graph between log to the base e theta minus theta naught and time t is okay you have a glass beaker in which there is some kind of liquid okay there is some liquid which is at temperature theta and the temperature of the surrounding is theta naught now initially at t equal to zero let us say we assume that the temperature of the liquid was theta i okay now as time progresses this beaker would lose heat lose heat to the surrounding okay and the rate of cooling of this liquid that is d theta minus dt with a minus sign is the rate of cooling okay now according to Newton's law of cooling, this rate of cooling is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the substance and the surrounding. So that will be equal to K and delta theta, that is difference in temperature which can be written as theta minus theta naught. Okay, where theta naught is that of the temperature of the surrounding okay now this is a very simple expression now this can be written as d theta by theta minus theta naught equal to minus k times dt and if we integrate it with suitable limits that is from theta i initial temperature of the liquid to the present temperature theta times 0 to time t so we will get log to the base e theta minus theta naught as the integral with limits theta theta i equal to minus k t with limits 0 to t. Okay, now if we substitute the values, we will get log of theta minus theta naught minus of log theta i minus theta naught equal to minus kt which can be written as log to the base e theta minus theta naught is equal to minus kt plus this value which is basically a constant so we can write it as c so if you plot this graph of log to the base e of theta minus theta naught with time t we will have this kind of graph okay so let us look at the four options that are given option a is the correct one 